Hello, I'm Sriman. Welcome to my channel, My Structure for Life, where I will help you find structure in studying for your big exams that you fear the most. All right? So before I tune into the content of this video, I would like to talk a little about the logo that I have for my channel. So if you guys notice, the logo is actually a tree. And what does a tree mean to me and for you is that the trunk of the tree is the knowledge that you gain from watching my videos. All right? And once you have the knowledge, you guys branch out like the branches of a tree. You apply this knowledge to various situations. You share this content with friends from group studies and you know, share the knowledge and apply it to new situations. Eventually, what do you get at the end is the beautiful red apple, which is your good grades, the good remarks from people and the, all the good stuff and the positivity right there. Eventually, the apple falls. Like, if you have heard of this, how the apple fell on Newton, and if the, after the apple fell on Newton, he thought about all these theories and laws and Newton's laws. So that is what I want you guys to do. The apple falls on other people's heads, and then they get inspired to start their own trunk, their own tree, and inspire many other people. And that's what I want from this channel. So a lot of you guys have been asking me, how do I study for my subject? How do I study for chemistry? Do I study for physics? How do I study? Basically, I think one thing, and one important thing you need to learn is note-taking, right? A lot of you guys have been note-taking, but there are common pitfalls that a lot of people fall for, which reduce the efficiency of note-taking, and thus you don't achieve that many good grades. I have done note-taking to study for my exams, and it has helped me a lot when you do it correctly, and when I do it correctly. Right? So how do you note take? Okay, I've split this video into two parts. This part of the video will address all the things that you need to take note when note taking. Okay? And then the second part of the video is gonna show you some examples of how you can take notes. Right? So it could be mind mapping, it could be bullet points, it could be tables and many sort of stuff and that will be part 2 of the video. So here is part 1, let's jump right in. Alright, number 1 I'm going to answer is do you write or do you type? A lot of you guys have been moving into a JC life or moving, uh, staying in secondary school and you witness your friends using laptops to take notes and you're probably asking yourself, should I do the same thing or should I just maybe stick to just writing notes? Personally, for me, I prefer writing out notes than typing it out on the laptop. And why? Okay, I'm going to give you some series of arguments to consider so you can decide which one is better. So the number one argument is that you have more freedom when writing than typing. The reason is because you are able to add smiley faces, you are able to add motivational quotes at the end of the page so you can get motivated to read the next time read the notes. Okay, so it's a lot more freedom to do stuff. To add a smiley face just takes one second, but if you were to you know, type on say Google Documents, it is going to take a lot more time. And we don't have much time, especially we have to study for a lot of subjects. So. For me, writing will help because it has more freedom. Number two, writing helps you to retain knowledge much better than typing. All right? So uh, I've heard a lot of research talking about this, but I don't want to mention it. But I believe that writing actually helps me retain knowledge more and possibly for you guys too. Number three, writing is important for exams. Ask yourself, are you going to write a computer-based exam? No, in real life exams, you have to write essays and essays and essays. You have to do things on paper. So the, 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 important, the importance of do, writing notes instead of typing is that it trains, one, your handwriting speed, okay? So you have to write things fast because you have a time limit for exams. And number two, you need to have good handwriting. A lot of you guys, okay, have really bad handwriting and when you have bad handwriting examiners don't want to mark your essays and your effort even though you have put 150 percent of your effort if your handwriting is bad it's not gonna help so if you want to train your good handwriting and your writing speed it's good to write out notes then type notes but of course you guys can type if it is convenient for you and you're able to do things faster but just because you're doing things faster doesn't mean it's necessarily more efficient Number two is to keep your notes simple and organized. Okay, every time I go to school, right, 
I go to lectures and I see people bring this huge like set of pens from red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple and just sharing it with their friends, right? And honestly, I don't see the point of using too many colors when doing and or making notes, okay? To use different color highlighters. But for me, I believe that each color pen or each color highlighter has to serve a specific function, okay? Be it a heading or be it a subheading or be it some examples with the explanation, okay? So each color has to have a specific function. And the more colors you use, the more functions they have to serve. And if you're using color pens loosely without having any clear function, your notes aren't going to be that easy for you to refer to when you need it the most, okay? The notes are something that should be easy to refer to, not a masterpiece that you want to display in an art museum. So what can you do about this? I want you guys to just limit yourself to just two or three pens and highlighters when taking notes, okay? And each pen has to have like a key, so a clearly defined function. This is for heading, black pen for heading, blue pen for the prose, and maybe the red pen for certain examples that you want to write about, or some extra motivational quotes at the bottom. So when you have clear, very clearly defined structure, the notes look simple, organized and really easy to read and this is in no way limiting your creativity okay you are making use of little resources and doing so much better with simple notes you're using so many colors just complicating and making your mind super confused all right besides colors okay special characters like brackets stars and other bullet points often tend to add complexity to your notes so I will touch on what I mean by complexity in the second part of the video. Number three, what to write? And this is a big question that a lot of people will ask when taking notes. What do I write? And I have some suggestions. First, don't write out long-winded definitions. Just stick to the words. What I mean is that, for example, define Newton's second law. And if like, Newton's second law is da 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 You don't write that out in the notes. You just write the word Newton's second law. Then comma, Newton's first law, comma, Newton's third law. And what you're doing is that when you don't write out the definitions, okay, the next time you refer to the notes, you look at the word and you force your mind to recall the definition. Not reread and reread and reread the definition and expect that during exams you'll be able to recall it. It's not gonna work. Alright? So ask your mind to recall the definitions. And if you can't get the full definition entirely, then you refer to the notes, look at what you missed out, and process it in your mind, okay? That is a much better way than rereading the same thing again. Next, write down important formula and concepts in your notes. Wait, what are important formulas? What are important concepts? Okay, if you guys are studying in the A-level or O-level syllabus, right? Cambridge usually has this thing called a syllabus document. And in the syllabus document, they organize the chapters, okay? They organize it chapter by chapter. They tell you, A, you need to remember this. B, explain and identify this. C, and da 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 da. So what you want to do is take each of the A, B, and C, put them as headings, okay? Put them as headings at the top. And then whatever you write underneath should directly address the heading. And the number one problem that people have is that they just copy the structure that your school notes provide okay they just copy all the structure the headings the subheadings in that same order instead of directly taking initiative to directly look at the syllabus document and take your own notes in your own words in your own style not what the school notes does okay that's what i want you guys to do after you watch this video next one is what style of notes that you like Okay, this one is something that I can give you in different suggestions, but you should find it out on your own, okay? Be it mind maps, be it bullet points, be it macro mind mapping, and be it text, be it videos, or many PowerPoints, it could be anything. But in the next part of the video, I will address this in more detail. But it really depends entirely on whether you are a text learner, you're a visual learner, or it depends on the type of learner that you are and you know yourself the most. But whatever you do, right, your notes should be simple and organized. Alright? Whatever you do, it should fit the style of writing that you love and not 
just copy like whatever your friends do and whatever their style of writing is and just copy over their notes. It's not gonna help if you don't know what kind of style of writing you love. So follow the tips in this video. Keep your notes simple and organized, okay? Find your style of writing that suits you the most. Be it typing or writing, be it mind maps or text and bullet points and tables. Don't write out definitions and only write down important concepts as stated in the syllabus document for each subject. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to share it with your friends who are facing problems when taking notes and also have like similar things that I stated in this video like using different colors, not having a good organization. Please share it with those kind of friends that you really treasure. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell below to my channel so you guys can be one of the first few viewers to watch my video and share the knowledge that you gain with your friends as quick as possible, okay? So that will help me a lot in growing my channel. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.